hi friends welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a fun little like unboxing replacement package type of thing so if you are new or if you're not new i had an espresso machine i have the espresso virtual next and it started to malfunction a couple days ago so i called espresso and we walked through some steps together and they were super super nice on the phone and they sent me a replacement machine like i was on the phone with them yesterday and it came in today so i had the machine back in like late september i got it shout out to dan who gifted it to me and i was so excited that day that i kind of just ripped it open and made a cup of coffee so today we're actually going going to be going step by step through it and i'm gonna show you guys what's inside how to set it up all that fun stuff so let me get the box and i'll be right back this is everything that comes in the huge huge box just put this down nicely so you get instructions this is just a quick start guide um i know how to use it by now so reading through making sure i don't miss anything so it gives you the rinse tells you to rinse before use so we're gonna do that and yeah just set it up so i'll keep this here you also get a box of samples so it looks like this it's got a whole bunch of different ones in it i actually still have the box that my original um line came in and i have some samples left so maybe there'll be some different samples that I could try. But I don't know. Let's find out. Let's open this. Yeah, this came on my lunch break. And it's 3 o'clock. So we're just doing this quick. And then uh, get some coffee. Because I could use some coffee. Okay, so just from looking at it, it looks like it's all the same ones that I got originally, which is totally fine because the other day when I was having my malfunctioning issues, I actually wasted two pots and it was really sad. So I'm glad that I got some samples. And now we have the big box to open. So I'm just gonna cut it. So unfortunately the one, the colorway that I had, it was out of stock. So I did get to pick a new color, which isn't the worst thing. I loved the color that I had. So I'm not like super mad about it, but this is the huge other box that it comes in. So I'm just gonna open this. And in here, there's more instructions. Ooh. This is the cup, like the, where you put your cup. So it's like a rose gold color. There's the plug. It's like all of this garbage everywhere. I'm just kind of throwing it. Okay. So this is the machine. This is what it looks like. This is the front. So I got the rose gold and black. So I'm just gonna hook it up and then I'll kind of show you guys like my little coffee bar stash that we have going on here. So let me do that and I will be right back. So this is her. I think she's absolutely gorge. Let me just show you guys the little detailing. So it's a little dusty, but it has the rose gold espresso there, the rose gold on top. And then the little tray is also rose gold. So I'm gonna put some water in. The water tank is back here. Let it warm up. And then we're gonna make a cup of coffee. Happy raps is going wild to the Grammys. I might need to drop an album for the Grammys. So we're gonna do the first time rinse. I got a bowl. Hopefully this is big enough. But we're gonna try it. And if I have to stop it, I guess I will stop it. But First things first is to turn it on. And once it's ready, it 
says to, here, let's get this. Press the button three times to rinse the system. Should take about seven minutes. One, two, three. So it's flashing orange, which means it's cleaning, and we should see some water come out. So it's done cleaning. It only used about half the tank. I don't know if you can kind of see it back there. Maybe about like 60% of the tank. It is now officially done. So I'm gonna go dump this water and then we're gonna actually make a cup of coffee. <laughs> We almost had a bit of a spillage, but we're good now. It almost overflowed. So I'm gonna be giving you guys throughout this video like some tips and tricks that I've learned from watching other people's videos. So tip number one, don't leave the pod sitting in the machine. Like as soon as you're done, open this up, let the pod drop. So that way underneath you see there's like that spiral thing with the needles on it. You don't want your coffee grinds hardening and drying out on those needles. So let it air. Let Don't let a pod sit in here. You'll be good. So here's my coffee. I'm gonna froth up some milk and make some room for it. And then I'll show you guys the final product. So if I'm feeling a little bit fancy like I am today, I like to add some sort of flavor. Today we're gonna do like a brown sugar cinnamon one. So I just take two capfuls and put it in. I don't like my drinks too sweet or too dull. So I've found that two capfuls usually does the trick. So since everything's in my room, I kind of have like a funky setup. So I have to move this milk frother eventually and put it somewhere that doesn't, that's not on my window box. But I love this milk frother. I got it off Amazon. Unfortunately, it's currently not available, but it does the job and it's so good. I just put almond milk, a little bit of creamer, and some cinnamon in there to add to the cinnamon notes of the brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Pro tip, I think I mentioned this before, maybe not. Let the foam sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then the milk will start to separate from the foam, so you get that nice, like, cold foam look on top. So it's been about, I don't know, a minute, two minutes. I did add some creamer, so this is actually, like, almond milk plus almond creamer. So it's not gonna be as um, as frothy, but let's let's just try it out. I don't wanna have like an overflowage here, but this this is a magical moment. That's why I love glass cups. Because you just get to watch it all swirl together. So I do have some leftover foam in here, what it looks like on top. You can see there's the cinnamon in there also. But when I use just plain almond milk, that's when I really get that foam. This is more like a cream up here. I'm gonna go sip on this, add some more foam to it, and then we will get back to chatting about the machine. Okay, so we're back, and I had to hop into a call, so I had some of my coffee, but the cinnamon is like floating up to the top. I don't know if you can like see. There is, <laughs> but it's so good. This is one of those drinks that you have to like have without the straw. I just put the straw in because I needed to take some of the coffee out. It gives me all like the brown sugar cinnamon, like I think Cinnabon like vibes, but iced. So I really need to try it hot because I feel like it would just be an absolute game changer hot. I just wanted to like backtrack a little bit because I feel like it just like jumped right in to new machine and didn't talk about old machine. So let's talk about that. So I've had the machine, like I said, since late September. I was like just so excited to use it that I didn't really like watch any videos on upkeep or like tips and tricks and like how to preserve the life of your machine. Because this is like the first, I wanna say this is like the first appliance that I've owned outside of like my Cricut and my computers. I wanted to make sure that this time around I actually like took care of it and did all the right things. Do I think that because like I didn't clean it out the first time and I didn't know about leaving the pods in over the last three weeks, maybe that had something to do with it? 
I don't know. I also have it plugged in to a power adapter, which goes into the outlet because I don't I have a shortage of outlets like in this general area of my room. Do I think that has a factor? No, because it's still getting power. The only other thing I can think of is I was like unplugging it at night. So maybe the constant like plugging and unplugging of it. I'm not sure, that's something I have to look into. So my first tip is don't leave the pod in the machine. Always lift it up, take the pod out or let it drop to the back. And then you can either leave the top open like I am right now, or you could just close it and leave it unlocked. Either way, I think that's fine. My second tip would be to use filtered water. Don't just put like any water in there because I feel like hard water with a lot of metals and minerals and all that stuff might also mess up with the inside of the machine and you might have to descale it sooner. So just be careful of how much water and what kind of water you're putting in your machine. Tip number three would be to clean your machine every week. I think this also could be a factor of why like mine just randomly stopped working. Like I didn't know that you should clean it very often, um, especially because I'm somebody that'll have like, I usually max out at like two cups a day. Sometimes I'll have three. It depends on like what's going on that day, how I'm feeling. Um, my third cup is usually like a half calf or a decaf. So that's a lot of use when you think about it. It's brewing 7.7 7 ounces and under. Some of the bigger pods are 14 ounces. And times that by three, that's a lot of water that's going through. That's a lot of grinds that are being, you know, soaked through, I guess, for lack of a better term. It's a lot of action. So because it's a lot, we should be cleaning the machines a little more frequently. I did see a tip from another um, like Nespresso YouTuber, I guess, uh, that I follow on YouTube and she cleans her machine every time the pod bin that's in the back of the machine is full. And that holds 15 to 20 pods, I think. Maybe more or less, give or take. So that's like, what, once a week? You know, you just let the water run through it and let it clean itself out. I think that would be a good practice. I'm gonna be doing that now with this machine to definitely preserve and lengthen the lifespan of the machine. So those are my three tips. And now I'm going to play some like B-roll footage of me making drinks at the beginning of the week when my other machine was still working. Before I actually play those clips, I just wanted to say real quick that this is not a knock at Nespresso. Their customer service was amazing. I, of course, will use the machine again. I will probably in the future use other machines of theirs as well, but they were fantastic over the phone, quick, easy to talk to, customer service. She helped me troubleshoot over the phone. I forget her name. I wish I remembered her name, but she was so sweet. So I was super happy and super pleased with their customer service and how quick they acted. And I called yesterday morning at like 8 a.m. or something like that. And I hadn't had coffee yet. And I was upset because I went to the gym, came back, and I, the coffee is like my reward. Not my like reward, but I look forward to having my cup of coffee after the gym. So I was very upset yesterday and she calmed me down and now we are back in business. So I just want to say that I was very thankful and very pleased with their customer service. So now let me roll the video. She got it early, that's prophecy. I need a power that's down for me. To make my good days my better days. I ordered two small tea lemonade. I might just post about the Starbucks, maybe hit the drive through. Yeah. They get hit me with the drop pin, cause I can't find you. Yeah, yeah. It's now the next day and so I kind of wanted to save like the outro and the last little bit of this video for the next day because I did want to add in one other just coffee recipe that I made this morning. I feel like it's so common to see like everybody make all these crazy Nespresso recipes with the syrup and the, the creamer and the you know just everything and all the mugs and I just wanted to say that you don't have to have all that stuff. I certainly don't. I have 
three, I'm just counting, sorry. Uh, one, two, three different like flavors that I can add and that's it. I have a bunch of different pods, which is totally fine. Mix it up, do some espresso, some coffee, but I just wanted to share that you can enjoy any single cup of coffee that you wanna make. Even if it's just like I made this morning, this is literally almond milk and sugar, that's it. So I just want to come on here and say that if you're looking at getting an espresso or if you're wanting to post more about your coffee but you feel that it's not like aesthetic enough, don't worry, just post it, just do it. So sorry for my hair being so crazy. I'm getting it done today. So I have to like not put like, you know, product in it, but here we are. The last thing I wanted to do was go through the box that you get, like the sample box. So let's do that and then we will regroup. So I'm gonna go get the box and then we'll go through it. So this is your sample box. You get 12 different pods and then they have a list of all the pods up here. And one thing I didn't notice at first and I, I'm so silly for not noticing, you see this down here, just to focus is anything with a star next to it is a pod that you have in your box. So like Columbia, that's one you have in your box. Um, the decaf one, Stormio pod, which I had this morning, Alto Dulce. So those are all the ones that you have in here. Some of them are labeled, some of them are not. I'll just show you. So see like that one's labeled. I don't think this one is. Oh no, that one's labeled too. I swear there's one that's like not labeled. Anyway, yeah, see, some of them aren't labeled, some of them are. So that's why you have to use the chart up here. But these are the pods that you get. Some of them are stronger than others. I think this one is a level 11, which I'm a little nervous about. <laughs> but some of these are lighter, um, like the Bianca Leggero and the Bianca Forte. Those, I think this one's a little bit lighter than this one. So I'll have to try them out and see. And I'll, look up, I'll give you guys my review down the line once I finish you know, all the samples. Because now I have two sample boxes. But I used some of the ones in the other sample box and I didn't get to try this one because that was the day that my old machine decided to break. So I'm excited to try this and all the other ones. I think that's it. I think I went over everything. Uh, old machine, excellent customer service, new machine, tips. I'm just trying to think through. Did I miss anything? We went over the new pods. I wanted to show you guys my like coffee stash, but I'm thinking we'll save that for another video. Just because I'm running low on a lot of things because I haven't really bought since I got the machine. I'm trying to, you know, be good and not buy a whole bunch of pods at once. I'm just trying to use what I have. And then once I'm running low, maybe like two weeks worth, then place in order to get more. I am fortunate enough to have a little Nespresso boutique very close to me. It's about 20, 25 minutes. So if I do wanna just go there and buy the pods in person, I can do that. So that's gonna be it for this video, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below what your favorite Nespresso recipe is. I really wanna try some other, branch out to some other recipes. So let me know. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.